There was a time when I felt I'm capable of so much more. People around me saw potential, success even. But deep down inside me, I felt stuck. And I kept wondering, why don't I seem to be able to get out of my own way? And if you feel this way, then this video is for you. So I did what many others do as well. I turned to self-help. I read articles and watched videos. I read The Mountain Is You by Brianna West and Psychedelics by Max Waltz. And here is where I noticed something. All the advice, set goals, think positive, create habits. I knew all of that. Nothing of that was new. And because of that, I started to see it. It wasn't that I didn't know what to do. It was that something inside me was blocking me from doing it. I was sabotaging myself. And not because I was lazy or unmotivated. In The Mountain Is You, Brianna West actually explains how self-sabotage is a way of protecting ourselves from failure, from success or from change. In relationships, we push people away stay guarded and settle for less sometimes just because being truly vulnerable might hurt. When setting goals we make excuses or tell ourselves tomorrow or even worse start to become afraid of being the person who follows through. And with our health we avoid commitment, telling ourselves that it is hard work and the sacrifices are just not worth it. Brianna West explains that self-sabotage often stems from fears we don't even know are there, like the fear of fully stepping into something new. For me, it was the fear of not living up to expectations. I feared failing at this new direction I was taking in life. So I hesitated and delayed and made excuses. Here's a great example. Before fully settling here in Bali, Lisa and I went on to a road trip so this and the new me would document this journey and put it out there for the world to see. And in case you haven't seen those videos, there are none. Zero. <laughs> Nothing at all. I was so afraid of not living up to my own expectations about editing and storytelling and color grading so I delayed and hesitated. That mountain that was holding me back, that wasn't out there, that was right inside me. Oh yeah, and that mountain scene that you just saw, that's from our travel, so I guess I finally used it? The matter of fact is this, if you think you can do better in life, you probably can. But we have to look a little bit further than that. In psycho -Cybernetics, Waltz talks about self-image. And he explains that often we view ourselves through the lens of the past rather than the person we are trying to become. And that is very true for myself as well, because very often I still viewed myself through the lens of my old career. This guy who had it all figured out. But in this new path, I had to let that go. And be okay with just learning as I go. And that led me to another profound realization. It wasn't those big life-altering changes that were scary. The scary bit was embracing to be someone new. I'm a YouTuber. No, that was hard. It took me years even after I started the channel to say this, because the scary bit is all the little things that I now have to do that are associated with that, like filming in public or editing and getting no views and trying again. Because those things are the ones where I could fail. All of this, of course, means that I started to do a few things that helped me and that can help you as well if you feel similarly. Start small, ask yourself, what are you really afraid of? For me, I wrote down my fears and the beliefs that were holding me back, like what if I fail? What happens if people judge me? And it became a practice for me that every time I saw myself hesitating, I asked myself, what belief is holding me here? And what about the new you? 
What are you afraid you'd become if you truly embrace it? Maybe you are eyeing a promotion to team leader, but your boss is a jerk. So you becoming a team leader yourself means you're becoming a jerk. And what about eating healthily? Well, you just become like all these buff people you see on Instagram all the time, and they are vain and superficial. Now, looking at life through those lenses is holding you back. Who you want to become doesn't determine your character. What you do determines it. For me, progress came in the smallest things, such as just being a little bit kinder to myself or sitting down and writing part of a script, even if it was just 10 minutes or setting tiny goals. And slowly I started to see changes, this time not because I forced it, but because I removed the things that were in the way. If there is one thing I learned over the past three, four or five years, it's this. Your potential isn't out there, it's right here, waiting for you to move the mountains inside. So start small, be patient with yourself and know that you are more than capable of creating the life you want.